Hello and welcome my Taurus friends. This is Jennifer from Mystic Star. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. This is going to be my group reading for December for my Taurus friends. We're going to start to look at and explore what you can expect in the month of December. We're not going to only just focus in on those challenge and obstacle parts. We're going to look at how you can raise your vibration and really enjoy this month. There's so much this month has to offer you. Now we're going to be using the Everyday Witches Tarot and we're also going to be using the Energy Oracle. Like always, there's links below to both these fantastic decks, so should they speak to you, you can go check them out for yourselves. Alright my Taurus friends, we're going to sh shift things and switch it all up and we're going to start off with the Energy Oracle. What can my Taurus friends expect for the month of December. What a fantastic card. Angel of Love. That loving, nurturing energy is going to really be flowing for December for you. It really kind of gives a nice energy to this month. When you're looking at a month that really brings in lots of kind of conflicting energies with Christmas and the holidays and then some anxieties about the new year, having that overall energy of love exuding throughout the month is fantastic. All right, I'm a tarot girl at heart, so let's start this off. What card symbolizes the month of December for my Taurus friends? You get two. Two for the price of one. The three of wands. Threes are about expression and growth. Wands are about that passion. The three of wands is an action card. You've made your decision, you've graduated from the two of wands, and you're moving forward. You're ready to really put that inner fire and drive into gear and the Page of Pentacles. Pages are that childlike, innocent, playful, inquisical energy. Really going to be driving that three because that energy is going to want to learn and explore. When you look at the three of them, it really talks about that need to not only be working on those relationships and that love, but also making a change and a difference in it. Pages and children like to really question their world. So questioning those relationships, questioning how you can strengthen them, questioning if those relationships are a positive piece will be something that's important for you in December, my Taurus friends. All right, let's look at December. What can my Taurus friends expect from the beginning part of December? Again, you get two. They keep, and these. This is not a sticky um, a deck. It's a well-used deck, actually. The Eight of Cups. That inner exploration really holds true to that. Really exploring those relationships, diving deep and doing that questioning: Is this appropriate? Is this positive? Is this a relationship that is giving back to me as much as I am giving to it? And then the Two of Swords. Again, it goes back to that decision making. Really highlighting that importance of determining what is going to be right and wrong for you. Swords are about truth and knowledge. Is this relationship or are these relationships in my best interest? Important part of this is that you're going to have to focus in on that head aspect, really looking at it critically. Is this a positive relationship? Yes or no? Our heart likes to really get involved in this, and especially as we have the angel of love standing right beside us. Our heart will say, yeah, well, we've known them for so long. Yeah, but they're our crazy uncle, cousin, whoever. Are they a positive relationship? 
or are they an energy vampire that is sucking the energy essence out of you? Those are questions only you can determine. Let's go into the middle of the month. What card? Well, it jumped out. Symbolizes the middle of the month for my Taurus friends. The Ace of Pentacles. Aces are about that gift, if you will, from a higher spirit. And a lot of times when you're looking at pentacles, it's from Gaia. That ability to embrace those aspects and really let yourself get some roots and gain some roots and strengthen them so that you're able to really, well, not only plant the seed, but really get that growth piece going. Really see some changes, see some abundance come in our lives. The angel of love is overseeing the month. Really focusing in on self, because yes, we have to make some determinations about our relationships, um, our external relationships, but also strengthening and focusing in and healing some of those personal rela relationships. That relationship with your higher self, that connection in. Giving yourself some time and energy will really help, like I said, strengthen those roots, but strengthen those bonds between you and your higher self, you and your intuition. Let's look at the end of the month. What does the end of the month bring my Taurus friends? The Eight of Pentacles. Eights are about movement and manifestation. So the, being able to really get down, getting our hands dirty, and getting the job done. When you're looking at the Eight of Pentacles, you're looking at that hard work. The original card had that Pam drew, had a man sitting on a bench banging out his pentacles super focused on his task, his skill, really using that skill set to make a difference, to get that abundance piece going. So we focus in on the relationships. The end of the month is going to give you that time to, f well, and energy to focus in on that skill, those skills and abilities that really help to bring abundance and in some cases material wealth into your life. Kind of, this is a little bit of a side tour, and now we're getting down to business. We also have double eights. And angel messages. What the angels are saying is abundance and material prosperity is coming. You just need to stay true to your passions. Okay, so let's look at the challenges. This is what the month is going to bring us. But let's look at those challenges. What challenges do my Taurus friends face at the beginning of December. The Nine of Wands. And sometimes when you look at relationships, that's really how you feel. When you start to dive into those relationship aspects, it can really frazzle us. And it's going to be really important that you Kind of nurture yourself while you're doing this because when you start to look at relationships and if they're an energy sucker or an energy vampire where they're 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 taking from you it can be very much a battle of wills because you're not going to want them to um, continue to suck the the life out of you you're going to need to have especially if you've got some major vampires in your your world you're going to need to seek some help on really severing those connections. And it's not so much even those physical connections, but those energetic connections are there as well. We have tethers to each other and having someone help sever and help heal is going to be really important for you. Let's go into the middle of the month. What challenges? Do my Taurus friends face in the middle of December?
the Two of Pentacles, that balance piece. It's going to be a challenge to keep balance. Not only in the, the middle of the month, I'm going to actually add it into the, the beginning part of the month as well. Because when we do start to go inwards and really reflect on our, our relationship with others and ourselves, we really uproot ourselves and we are no longer grounded and we're no longer centered. Our energies aren't flowing properly because we are checking into ourselves. It's similar to gardening when you're weeding out the, those pieces that don't belong in your garden. You're kind of turning up the soil a bit. And that's gonna be really important that you stay grounded, centered, and making sure your energies are flowing throughout the month. Because with these shifts that you can do, you're going to find that not only will it raise your vibration, but you're going to unclog some of your system, so your system's gonna run better. Let's look at the end of the month. Oh, we've got a jumper there. What challenges do my Taurus friends face at the end of the month? And that's the Page of Cups. Like I said before, pages are that childlike and quizzical energy. That play and exploration of a child. That's really going to impact that getting your hands down or in the, the dirt and getting going and getting things done. That playful kind of, oh, look, look at this, what about this, is really going to impact your ability to get the job done, that your inner fire is really gonna wanna get going on. We've done some growth piece here. It's time to work on those skills and abilities, but that kind of inquisical, playful energy will be impacting you. We do have double pages. Now pages are the 11th card in the minor arcana. And when you're looking at angel messages, number 11 is a master number. And it's to really listen to your intuition. During the middle of the month, you have that ability to strengthen your connection into your higher self and intuition, allowing it to guide you and harness some of this childlike energy, that play and creativity that a child has into our skills and abilities to get that job done will actually strengthen and really bring about a lot more abundance. Use his, harness his power and you're going to find that you get more done. All right, we're gonna shift things a little bit because we're gonna look at how we're gonna raise our vibration. It's one thing to know about our challenges and what December is offering us, but how do we go forward on a more positive note and raise our vibration? All right, so how can my Taurus friends raise their vibration in the beginning part of December? the garden and the gate, really reflecting in on our own. The, the grass is not always greener in our neighbor's yard. Actually, you, we're seeing it through a very um, kind of filtered glass, if you will. Focusing in on those pieces within that garden, those flowers. Some flowers are dying. It's time to prune them. We need to literally, and I've said this before, getting into our garden and weeding it and as we weed it we're going to raise our vibration because you're going to be also able to focus in on those amazing blossoms you have in your 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 toolkit in your garden so that you can start to focus in on them and really nurture them so they grow bigger and more beautiful let's look at the middle of the month how can my Taurus friends raise their vibration in the middle of December. The third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. Your third chakra is your solar plexus. I do struggle with this, um, the energy oracle on this card. Well, actually a couple of the chakra cards, they have di really different archangels there. Archangel Shamuel is an archangel that deals with emotional healing. Now, emotional healing is going to be really important as we dive into ourselves and really strengthen those relationships with our higher vibration and our, our higher intuition. 
Archangel Shamuel can really help with that emotional healing. Our third chakra though is our solar plexus. And our solar plexus doesn't deal with that emotion, it deals with that inner fire and passion. Now we do need that solar plexus to kind of dive in and connect into our higher intuition and our higher self because sometimes it can get scary. It's something people have been telling us we shouldn't do for the longest time. Connecting into our intuition was very woo-woo and very witchcraft or quote-unquote witchcraft. It was scary. It was bad. We still have those fears that have been kind of passed down from generations that it's scary. So really connecting into our solar plexus to give us that strength and courage and determination to do some of this healing. It does really work for um, the middle of the month for you. Although Archangel Samuel doesn't usually do the, the, um, the solar plexus. If you want support with your solar plexus, Archangel Uriel, he's the Archangel to call on. He is the Archangel of, of well, it's fire, basically. His name means light of God. Calling on him to really connect into that third um, chakra is awesome. Uh, Archangel Samuel can help you with what's called your fourth chakra, which is your heart chakra. Both of these are going to really be key and integral, not only to for the middle of the month, but for the beginning of the month as well. Let's look how my Taurus friends can raise their vibration at the end of December. Oh, and I should note, if you're st seeing a lot of flashes of yellow and you're really feeling that inner determination and fire and courage come in, it is Archangel Uriel. He's come in and he's really embracing you and supporting you and helping you heal. Archangel Shamuel's color can be a Puriat color or a light rose color. He can also be connected into the rose quartz. Strategy. Really, it goes, it, he, this card really speaks to me about that three of wands. You have that path. It is time to set things in motion. Really connecting into the Eight of Pentacles and focusing in on what it is you want to get done and then really following that map. How do you achieve those goals? Right? We're looking at the end of the year. It's also the end of a decade. We're starting 2020. Those strategies, that reflection time. How can you take your skills and abilities to that next level? How can you create and bring in more abundance into your life? When we start to question and we embrace that, that inquisical energy of the page, we can really start to reflect on what it is we're doing. Questioning how we do things is a good thing because sometimes it helps us stop and go, well, why do I do it that way? What would happen if I changed it up a bit? What if I tried it this way? Could it be more prosperous for me? All right, let's look at how my Taurus friends can overcome the challenges brought on by December. Those coping skills and strategies. We've got a couple of jumpers here um, that are gonna help you navigate December. Okay, you got a number of him here, my Taurus friends. But most importantly, we start off with the sun. We go back to that loving, nurturing, joyous energy. That needs to be the forefront of where you're at. When we raise our vibration, we're embracing that love, joy, and harmony. That love, joy, and harmony is really going to help kind of heal us and help kind of push us forward and literally help our garden grow. Because we need to make some changes. Some of the reflection and changes that need to happen in the beginning of December will not only impact your life, but it'll impact the lives of those around you. Those individuals who are energy vampires or who are really, um, they, you guys have a very unbalanced relationship where they're, you're doing all the work, whether they're sucking your energy out or not, 
they're asking you to do the things that either you, you may not feel comfortable doing, but you're doing all the legwork. When you're doing more work than what you're receiving back with that love and energy, that's when the, the relationship isn't healthy. It should be a positive give and take relationship on both aspects. Some of them aren't. We all have them. We have to prune them out because as we evolve, so do they. And our relationships, they change. The moon. The moon talks about those mysteries and unknown pieces, which really we're, we're diving into here. Most people don't take that time to really reflect on what our relationships are like, what our life has been doing, how these things have happened, how have we got to this point, how have we changed. Those core beliefs sometimes need to be shifted. Those unknown aspects, why we're doing things the way we do them. Really making sure that you do dive into them and, and reflect so that you do have a clear path going into 2020. The Magician. Now all these cards jumped out together and I'm starting to see a bit of a pattern here. The Magician, the first card in the Major Arcana. He talks about those skills and abilities, those natural gifts that we have, using those with those everyday aspects, the wand, the sword, the pentacle, the cup, to make magic happen drawing in that universal energy and making the impossible possible. Judgment, the 20th card in the Major Arcana. Do you guys start to see the pattern here? This is the connection to the universe and to the universal song. Really clearly hearing those messages that the universe wants to share with us, giving us direction. And finally, the world. The 21st card in the Major Arcana talks about the ending, that pause piece, and that next step. Celebrating all that you've achieved and being excited for that next stage. What's going to really help you is this major life shift. December offers you, my Taurus friends, the ability to shift out of that negativity and those energy vampires to a more very focused and centered self that has a higher vibration and a better ability to manifest and produce those things that you want in your life. These are major life shifts, major arcanas, that major life shift, knowing that the sun and the angel of love are there. And now Archangel Shamuel can be considered the angel of love. This can also be one of his um, angels that he works with. All the archangels have angels that they work with. So it's very much could be another angel that works with him. But that loving, nurturing energy to really reflect on what's happening for you and how you can start to raise your vibration. That's what December is going to hold for you. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you've seen any of my past videos, you really never know what I'm going to do next and more importantly, when videos are going to come up. I'd really hate for you to miss anything. Also, if you enjoyed this video and want to support me in making more, I have a Patreon page with many tiers and lots of perks. In some of the tiers, the perks are private readings with myself. I provided a helpful link below, so why not go check it out? Until tomorrow, my Taurus friends.